Just don't let us look stupid. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Have you ever made milkshakes out of snow? Our back to school feature continues as we continue live from San Diego. And why not have the Aztecs head coach on with us? Uh, Mark Martinez joining us from San Diego State. We've been visiting with as many college coaches as we can this offseason. Mark, great to see you and have you on the program. Appreciate that, man. I really, really appreciate you guys having me on and looking forward to our discussion. Yeah, man, we're here. In your, we're in your backyard, and I want to hit you with this. You're entering your ninth season with the Aztecs. Um, you replaced Tony Gwynn. You know, no big deal. No huge <laughs> shoes to fill there, right? <laughs> Tony replaced his coach at San Diego State, right. Jim Dietz, who was a legendary figure here yeah. locally. This is a job that doesn't turn over very often. That's one of the cooler aspects of, of what you do. Well, I'm, I'm just super honored to have the opportunity. And you know, I worked for nine years with Tony before, you know, I transitioned in the head coach job. And so I can tell you that, uh, you know, the San Diego State family takes care of their own, you know, and that's kind of why I'm sitting here as the head coach is Tony kind of set me up for success uh, moving forward. You know, his last couple of years, even there on the Mesa, you know, uh, it kind of was grooming me for this next step. And and put me in a position to have the opportunity I have right now. So I'm so thankful. I'm very lucky that uh, uh, Mr. Gwynn was in my in my life, Mr. Padre, for sure. Tell you what, that, that campus has grown so much. You're your own city. You guys have your own zip code. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's a big school out there now at San Diego State. What's yeah. it, like 65,000 students? That's a, yeah, I mean, if you count all the campuses, for sure. You know, locally here, it's about 30,000. Um, but but uh, it's been an unbelievable transition since I've gotten to San Diego State. You know, it's uh, 17 years of transition. Um, we're one of the most uh, applied to state schools in the country. We had uh, over 100,000 applicants this past wow. year to, to get into San Diego State. So that means uh, we're very healthy and vibrant. Who, who can fault you, man? I, I went to San Diego State before I I transferred. I went to San Diego State in high school. And what stands out to me was I was just telling him this. I would ride to school on a bike, no handed, and picking oranges off the tree, eating the oranges. <laughs> I mean, it, the weather is like this all year round. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's, 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 it's Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You <laughs> rode to school on a bike picking oranges off trees as you got to your 8 a.m. Yes. assignment. Somebody please Beautiful. make that into a cartoon for me before I just die here. That is. But, but now we know the secret to being a great infielder, right? There it I mean, is. There it that's is. That's right. right that's so right. I'm hey, sure that one professor is wondering what happened to all his orange. <laughs> Mark, I want to ask you about the, the history of the program in terms of uh, players that you've put into the big leagues. And it's a nice history. I guess yeah. the guy at the top of the class right now is Ty France. But since you got to San Diego State, uh, here's a partial list of some guys that you had at the collegiate level who have gone on to make an impact in Major League Baseball. Um, it, it, there's always like one guy who you always know his school. And I guess that's Ty France right. for me, right? Mm -hmm. Because of his background with the Padres for a brief moment in time as well. Uh, this has to make you very proud to see this group of players. Just uh, Well, not only just great players, but just that list right there is just quality character guys, just great human beings, guys that came into our school, made a difference, you know, not, not just on the baseball field, but off the baseball field, character-wise, doing things right. All, every one of those guys, a lot of those guys on that list also have their college degree currently, you know, and that's a, that's a testament to their character and, and just, you know, how they came to San Diego State, took advantage of their opportunity, and, and parlayed that into a college degree, and now those guys are playing the big leagues. Kind of cool. Yeah, we should say this. Keith Costas yeah. just hit me with this in my ear. That's a great note. Highest GPA in school history under your leadership. So that wow. is clearly a point of emphasis yeah, so. for you. Well, yeah, it, it was something that uh, Tony and I talked about when I first got on the Mesa. One of the, the point of emphasis for us was to, you know, how do we create a different culture? And one of us based on the academics. And, and so we started, you know, recruiting like-minded kids that wanted to graduate from college and have an opportunity to play in the big leagues. That's really cool. You know, I, uh, a few weeks ago, a week or so ago, we had Andy Stankowitz at USC on. And, and I asked him a question about why college and not pro. You know, why, why are you in the college ranks? And he gave a profound answer. He said, I get to be with a kid three to four years. Mm -hmm. How important has that been? You just talked about the educational part, but even as a development and being around from a, from a young man to a, a, a grown man, how's that, that development help? Well, I, I'm telling you, it's just what we take great pride in is, is growing young people, you know, and, ha you know, teaching them, you know, kind of how to prepare for life, not just on the baseball field. And again, it goes back to recruiting the right kids or have they, those same ideals. They want to 
be well-rounded, you know, and grow while they're at San Diego State. So that, those are guys that we're targeting. And again, those kids are having the opportunity to play in the big leagues. It's such a cool deal. And, and you know, you get the right kids. Again, you mentioned Ty France, but that, you know, that list, you know, with Greg Allen, Sebi Zavala, Alan Trail, those guys are, are guys that came on the Mesa. They weren't the perfect game, you know, all American dudes, you know, they, they, those are guys that took no. advantage of what we provide them there at San Diego State, that growth and development. Now they, they, they parlay, parlayed that into a really cool opportunity. Back, back to the GPA thing. I mean, San Diego State is a true college experience. You're gone to the beach in a heartbeat. So how do you keep these guys focused? Matt knows you live here. The temptations of being able to so many great things to do in San Diego. How do you keep them focused in the classroom? Well, I, I will say we do use that as a, you know, a tr attraction to Not come to our school. Yeah, that's school. a pretty good deal. But at the same time, you know, you, you know, any Division One athlete will tell you it doesn't matter if it's baseball, football. Um, we demand a lot of their time. You know, they're, they're very busy with school, you know, baseball, weights, community service, those kinds of things. But we also carve out time so they can get to the beach and, and be regular college students. Go to a football game, go to our basketball team, you know, who's, who's ranked in the top 25 and, and experience some of those things. So we do carve out some of that time, but they're very busy as well. Hey, before we let you go, Mark, give us a little conference preview this year for the Aztecs. What are we looking for? Well, you know, I, I, you know again, UNLV has the target on their back. They got a lot of returners. They won it last year. Um, you know, San Jose they state uh, surprisingly they're a re really good team we had a bad year last year it's one of those things that we stumbled a little bit but you know kind of uh, we feel like we're the the marquee name in our conference so we're going to go out and try and defend that and, and win the conference and play in postseason this year for you know, I, I did the college world series for a number of years and you know after 9-11 they kind of made it regional to get out of your regions yeah there's so many schools in california that play great baseball and then you got somebody creeping in out of the out of the East Coast, and they end up in Omaha, and it's like, yeah, but you had 25 top-ranked teams in California right. you couldn't get through. It's, how, yeah. how does how does that help with the competition? Well, it, it, bottom line, again, you talk about just guys playing the big leagues. Those guys are all pretty much from the West Coast, right? So the yeah. baseball out here is really good, but it, you know it's a tough out here in in, in uh, you know the West Coast to to try and get to the College World Series. Not only that, just to play on a Tuesday. You know, our Tuesday game, the, the layup games, you know, you're playing USC, UCLA, Long Beach, <laughs> Fullerton. You know, those are household baseball names, and, and that, those are very difficult games to go out and play just on a Tuesday. Mark, we appreciate good the visit, stuff. man. Good uh, good to have you with us. Good to see you, and uh, best of success with the Aztecs well, program moving forward. Thank you very time, much. Man. I appreciate, appreciate you, man. It, Thank you so much.